as we're speaking today, I thought about uh, lo local solutions to uh, climate change. I thought I would briefly uh, introduce you to um, a project or share with you a project that we have here in Shankill called the Trees for All project. Uh, this is very much to do for about climate change. What we did in essence, and I'll talk you through this was, we decided some time ago with our Tidy Towns group that we would plant one tree for every person in Shankill. Uh, and this was an effort to decarbonize the environment. So we successfully did that. In fact, we've exceeded our target. The population of Shankill was about um, 11,000. And to date, we've planted over 11,000 trees. So that's just by way of background, which I'll be speaking about, about a local solution uh, to a climate change, um, if you like, um, problem. Uh, so we hope to have this uh, project replicated with the help of Easy Treasy and with Crown Trees for Ireland and uh, other people around the country. And so far it's happened. But to start off, um, if I came to you today and was wearing a white coat as a scientist and I just emerged from my laboratory and I said, Eureka, I have just discovered a magic molecule called X. And this particular molecule had the ability to take the, all this carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and release oxygen that we breathe. I think I'd be awarded the, the Nobel Prize for chemistry. Now, uh, the good news is, that this molecule is already available. It's actually um, provided by nature. Uh, the magic molecule actually has a name. It's called chlorophyll. And I think that the um, solution, one of the main solutions to um, the problem about climate change is to maximize uh, carbon capture by this magic molecule. So this is what we've done in Shankill with the Tidy Tons. We've decided we decarbonize uh, the atmosphere by tree planting using the magic molecule, the green material. And I think this is what we're trying to get across a message. So I talked briefly about that. Um, just to give you an example, uh, one mature tree uh, using this magic molecule, one mature tree can actually take uh, out of the atmosphere uh, enough um, carbon dioxide that is given out by a car traveling 18 and a half thousand kilometers. So in a year, one tree will take the carbon dioxide that's causing global warming and take it out of the atmosphere and give off oxygen up to the equivalent of 18 and a half thousand kilometers of carbon dioxide emissions. And again, uh, this is why we're trying to get the message across in conjunction with the Trees for All project. We're trying to get simple messages across to school children and others about the importance of trees. The other, I don't like too many statistics, but the other statistics that we have, as a fact, is that one mature tree will give enough oxygen for a, for a family of four for one year. So that's by way of, of background to the Trees for All project that I want to give, give to, uh, suggest as a solution to some of the climate change problems. Now, what we do with this, and we're going nationwide, is we want to try and integrate an educational component in our Trees for All project. It's not just not planting trees. It's about understanding how the tree fits into the ecosystem, to the entire ecological cycle. So we start off by um, identifying, if you like, the main instigator of life, the sun which did the solar energy and in turn, the sun is producing this energy, which is intercepted by trees, which collectively we call the producers. And the producers by using this magic molecule converts the carbon dioxide uh, in the atmosphere in conjunction with nutrients and minerals and evolves oxygen that is most important for our life. So that's the message we're trying to get across to uh, our audience, school children, county councils, uh, youth groups around the country. And we find where we're not just talking about planting a tree, if we speak to people about the benefits of trees, it's a great way of doing it. So that's, that's our project. 
Debbie want to talk about the um, the magic molecule uh, in the, where you using the, the the producers using this magic molecule in turn provides food in the ecological cycle for what we call the consumers. And the consumers are twofold. You have the herbivores, which consume what has been produced by the producers with the help of the magic molecule. Uh, then in turn, we have the carnivores, the animals that eat flesh, consuming the herbivores that, act, that, that took their food from the producers. And where I come in now, uh, most important, what I want to emphasize is the role of the next uh, component in the ecological cycle, the decomposers. Now, the decomposers decompose what has been consumed by the consumers who have consumed what was produced by the producers with the help of the magic molecule, the chlorophyll. So now you have the decomposers, the fungi, the bacteria and the insects that will decompose and recycle all these nutrients back into the tree and be taken up and used by the producers. Now, a tree I heard some time ago, I, I love the definition. I'm a bit biased. I, I work with fungi or mycology. I'm a bit biased. I loved the definition uh, given to me by a mycologist. That's an expert in fungi. And he said, Dermot, um, do you know what a tree is? He said, a tree is a fungus with tissue attached. And it made me think about how important we as um, ecologists or people, tree lovers so-called, we always look up, up at the tree. We never, or we rarely think about what's happening on the ground, underneath the tree or in association with the tree roots. So without the fungus attachment on the tree roots, the tree will not grow. So a tree by definition, as I said, is green tissue with the magic molecule, uh, attached to which is the fungus on the roots. And the fungus is, if you like, a type of plant that doesn't have chlorophyll. So it requires nutrients uh, given to it when it acts as a parasite. That's when it takes its nutrients from something that is living or as a saprophyte when it just acts as a decomposer. So I'd like to think in terms of um, this project, Trees for All, that we just don't look upon the tree as an individual. We look upon the whole ecological cycle and realize the importance of the fungi and what they do. It's a type of happy marriage. It's, a, it's what we call a symbiotic relationship. The tree will not grow properly unless it has the envelope of fungi uh, around the root system. The fungus will uh, exude enzymes, break down all the um, materials, uh, the complex carbohydrates and proteins, and make them into simple components that the tree roots can absorb. And then in conjunction with the magic molecule, the tree will take this up and you produce wood and timber and the delightful benefits of trees. So that's the fungi. I love the, um, I love the Irish expression, os for a fungus. It's called a false ein eha. It just comes up overnight. I mean, I've been out in the woods, say on a Thursday, and then I go back at the weekend, and lo and behold, what I was, what eluded me is now apparent. It's all there, the fungi. So the message I'm trying to get across is with the Trees for All project is that trees are most important to plant, to sequester the carbon, but they will not be able to do this unless they have this beneficial symbiotic relationship with these good fungi. This is a uh, they're now talking about the wood wide web, that the fungi actually communicate with the different trees. So it's important that if you are planting, that you have the proper fungal marriage, that the symbiotic relationship, you have the proper fungus associated with the proper tree. So this is something that in the Trees for All project, we find that children are absolutely amazed by. Some children go and say, oh, we have to plant an old tree, or oh, I'm fed up and stuff. But when they hear, the story about the ecological cycle, about the producers, the consumers, the fungi, it gives them a complete insight into uh, mother nature and what's happening. So uh, just to finish up, uh, this was the project as they started in uh, my village in, in Shankill County, Dublin. Uh, we have bought in by the community. They are delighted to be part and parcel of a tree planting project 
but we just didn't want it to be seen as tree planting. We thought in terms of carbon sequestration, decarbonization, about the importance of beauty, the importance of very much today in terms of COVID, about how uh, the trees and the forests are an antidote to stress. And we found that the people who have planted trees, we started this project, I think about six years ago, and we found out that people uh, during COVID were going out and actually looking for their tree and they found it a fantastic, uh, I use the word antidote, you know, getting in touch with nature. So to conclude, uh, I just feel that the Trees for All project, which I hope I've described, we planted one tree for everybody in the village, uh, 11,000 people, and we'd like to see that, say, another uh, village in Ireland, say Bancha population 610, that they plant 610 trees, and this goes nationwide. Uh, the other thing we would like to emphasize, it's not just about tree planting, it's about understanding the ecological cycle. It's about understanding the role of herbivores, carnivores, decomposers, the whole lot. And I think this project, uh, which we're hoping to um, spread around the country with the cooperation and um, efforts with Easy Treasy and Crown Trees for Ireland and the various county councils, that it'll, it'll gain traction. It is at the moment. So um, I'd say that the project, I think, has the benefits of, um, I'd use the word community engagement and cooperation. And it should help. I think today it's all about fostering a sense of belonging or ownership and pride in a local area. So the theme of our, our talk is about um, speaking about local solutions. And I think this is one hell of a good solution to solve a problem about climate change. It gets volunteers involved, it's positive, and it fulfills all the criteria. It's a green initiative. It's also about, I think, people in the community um, taking action to combat the adverse impacts of climate change. And it should, I feel, um, establish a very positive link between the community on the one hand, or an environment on the other. And it should then create a thriving carbon, I don't like using these big words, but a carbon sequestering and biodiverse landscape uh, enriched with um, abundant flora and fauna. So my take home message is literally, you didn't ask me what it is, I would say, grow your share of fresh air, plant a tree and do this a veil of the magic molecule and the uh, chlor its chlorophyll friends and its fungal partners. So I think it's a bit uh, roundabout way of saying, get in touch with the ecological cycle, plant a tree, but just don't think in terms of putting the tree in the ground, just think in terms of what it's doing, contributing to carbon sequestration, it's providing the oxygen. As I said before that one tree, one tree, a uh, mature tree will give enough oxygen for four people for a year. It will also, also, also take out the carbon dioxide that is the cause or the main cause of this global warming. So uh, that's it. Uh, I hope I get the message across. So get out there and as Easy Treasy says, stop talking, start planting. <laughs>